Hello and welcome to the inaugural race of the Diet Dr. Pepper series hosted by Griffin2448, perhaps better known as Gavin Lemons. We are here in the first race ever of his league. Very exciting. We are racing the Gen 4 cars with fixed setups and we're following a setup or a, a schedule rather based on the real life 2003-ish era schedule with a couple of modifications. And for now we're going to go out and qualify and try to get top 30 because the top 30 from qualifying made it into the race. But uh, because of the nature of super speedway qualifying, we're also going to have our own version of like a Gatorade 125 kind of thing. The uh, top 13 from the heat race which will follow qualifying, will round out the 43 car field. And 43 cars should be a number that sounds familiar, as that's what they used to run. So we're going to try our very best here to get into the top 30. It's going to be all about being smooth with the steering wheel. and uh, holding our line but it also could just be us being at the mercy of some sort of wind that blows fortunately or not in our favor I don't think we're gonna be up to speed this first lap so we're gonna use this first lap I believe as a get up to speed lap we'll do session last lap Let's see, we're up to 181 right now, but I believe by the time we get around once more, we're going to be hitting the start-finish line at a higher speed. We are at Old Daytona, which means <laughs> they may say there are four turns here at Daytona, but it's going to feel like we're on a road course doing about 300 turns because we're going to be bouncing left and right the whole way through. Super bumpy, super coarse surface here at Old Daytona. And that could make it difficult for people to hold their line, for me to hold my line. It's just an added layer of challenge, maybe, to the Super Speedway race. Now you can see we're going to be well over 181 heading to the line here, and so that's why this lap is the one that's going to count. Just going to try to hold it to the bottom and get the best lap we can. I'm a little concerned that maybe going a lane up and avoiding some of the bumps might actually be a better option. But I, uh, I don't know for sure. So I'm just going to go with what I, f I think feels right. Keep it close to the bottom. Drift it up a little bit on the back straightaway here so we can get a good angle. And then keep it down low. Keep it steady. Once more. All right, we're about half a second up on that last lap. I don't remember. At, I don't think anyone asked if we could use the apron, so I'm just gonna not. Third place. All right, that should be good. That should get us into the show. Nice and well. So I'm feeling good about that. Was able to be smooth enough to get it to P3. Sweet. I was a little concerned, but I, I guess we're good. I'm gonna take this time, if we have it to try a green flag pit stop, because hopefully we will need to use that during the race. Race lengths are, I believe, 50% of the real-life lengths, again, based on the 2003-era season. So it's kind of like NIS in that way. Okay, just fine. We're able to get it slowed down. Not much trouble. I like pop in with the pit textures. I, w I had to mess with my graphics setting because before the race, for some reason, my uh, CPU it was giving me the concerning notes. So maybe we can up this a little bit. It was like uh, it was maxing out over here in the CPU, and I don't know why. So that was a little concerning. Yeah, 
go. Wins. Oh, blue screen right after quality started. That sucks. Um, I can't say what I'm trying to say with uh, limited space. What I was trying to tell him is like, hey, don't feel like you, you suck because qualifying on super speedways has so much factors that are out of control that plays into it. Like, for example, this like wind, 10 mile an hour wind, like you could get a bad gust of wind on the back stretch or something and that could make you lose several tenths or something crazy like it's not a true indicator of talent in any way i wouldn't say so i hope no one feels that way uh that's why we have ourselves a qualifying race so that way uh you know it's not all about you know who's got the favorable wind or something you get the chance to race into it so uh, I'm glad we have that good call by Gavin to put that in. <laughs> Point zero zero two kept Aiden in here. It's cool. There's a lot of names that I do recognize. We got like Chuck, JP, um, so, like a lot of guys from say Nick series. But there's a lot of names that are uh, different as well. Gavin's got his own community as well, group of viewers. And so there's lots of uh, names you may not recognize, which is really cool. Cool to see a lot of different names and hopefully have ourselves a great race. So right now it's looking like we're P4, and I believe that is final, yes. Um, they are going to be starting the heat race here soon. Um, I believe I'm going to go ahead and skip that, stop the recording, and I'll report to you on the results of that. If you want to watch the heat race, of course, uh, Go watch Gavin's video. Probably it should be the first one you watch anyway in his league. Just saying. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm just kidding. But uh, I'll uh, let him be the host of that one. He can talk through that. And uh, I don't have anything I can add to it anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop the recording for now and rejoin us when it's time for the feature after the warm-up. So I'll see you then. All right, we are back. Here are your results for heat number one and the only heat. I don't know why I specified number one. Um, it was a little concerning. We had two big ones in six laps. Just uh, one of them before we even really got to turn one. So that's a little concerning. Of course, the intensity is going to be higher in a do-or-die race uh, to get into the feature. But two big wrecks. And then uh, here are the guys that made it in. Shane, Josh, just barely eking it out. But we're gritting up because we don't have much time to do so. <laughs> Gotta get that done. Pardon me one moment. There we go. Sorry. Just yeah, adjusting my view a little bit. So, uh, we'll do, I guess, session best lap just for fun. Oh my gosh, I keep passing it. Session best just for fun. Uh, we will be rolling off P4. I'm very glad that I was able to qualify up here and not have to do the heat race because it's already a bit of a crapshoot at a super speedway. <laughs> so I don't need to have to put my uh, ability to race in the future in the hands of the big one and whether I am in it or not. Here's hoping that we are not in the big one. And the feature here, 100 laps. We've got about 45 laps of fuel in the car. It would be very interesting if we could make it to halfway, but I'm not so sure that's going to be possible. We'll see what the fuel's saying eventually. I'm going to save a little bit just while uh, rolling around here. If we can make it halfway, that'd be fantastic. But we're also just going to have to do, you know, something similar to what other guys around us are doing. And that, of course, is all assuming we are going to go green, which... If it's anything like the heat race, not so sure. But Gavin's starting behind us, that's cool. We'll be behind Andrew in the 25. 
And uh, apologies, I don't know how to say the poll setter's name. Marius? Perhaps? Starting on the poll, we're going to be watching him to try to, you know, get a jump. But not going to matter too much on a super speedway. He's got a uh, Rusty Wallace looking scheme. That's who had that scheme in uh, 2003, right? That was a Rusty Wallace number two. He, of course, is the number nine, but. We are going. I'm going to be trying to get to the bottom as soon as I can. I think that's gonna be my uh, my plan here. I just feel safest down there. It's already looking like that's the place to be. No reason to be in a hurry. We'll be patient. We'll give room. and wait for a chance to get to the bottom. Are we three wide already? Why? Why are we three wide already? That's not necessary at all. I don't like that. We're not doing that. I'm gonna wait here. Getting away from that. Down at the bottom where I want to be. Hopefully they sort it out too, because I don't really want to see three wide in front of me at any point. Especially not lap two or whatever we're on right now. Oh my god, they're already crashing maybe? What's happening up there? Are you guys serious? Did you just wreck Gavin out of his own race already? Did Gavin just get wrecked out of his own race already? So what happened there? I don't know. I'm not sure how I got that one too. That's pretty ugly. Uh, that shouldn't be happening on lap three. Please Looked like the leaders just put themselves under the wall and everyone was checking up to, re uh, to react to that and then I just got run over. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you there, but it sort of, sort of flew into you. Well, that's no good. I'm not having power, but I don't know. What's the idle gather? Gee whiz, that's no good. Thanks for going in the three. Chuck, given the yeah, pace yeah, car update, that. I was going to do it if he didn't. Thank you. I'm going to stay out. I think we can make it halfway. With a little bit of pacing here, potentially. Pace cars in the middle of three. And uh, I want to keep this track position. I don't want to put myself back there. Apparently don't need to be all that far back to get stuck in it either. A little disappointing. A little bit of a disappointing start to this one, I'm going to be honest. Uh, two big ones in the heat race, and then we're already wrecking big before we get to lap five. Just really does not seem necessary. I mean, it, it might just be difficulty holding lines, given how bumpy this place is. Maybe people aren't used to it. But I also saw a three wide already, which is just totally not even necessary. It's okay to leave room. 
It really is. I got stuck in the outside. I was losing spots, but I'm not gonna shove my way in or anything. Hopefully, I can stay with the drive. Yeah, I hope Gavin's still in it. It's good to hear he's not down on power. Hopefully, he'll be able to fix as much damage as possible and still be competitive. I'm going to call this on super speedways in general, though. <laughs> At the end of the day, super speedways. Uh, not my favorite, and they can lead to some things that kind of look like that. But I'm going to try to remain positive in general in this video, so I'm not going to complain too much about boohoo super speedways. <laughs> We're going to just take stock of what we got right now, which is P2. Single file restarts as well, if you did not know. Because that's how they did it in the early 2000s. So we'll be doing single file restart, following Chuck. And hopefully save a little bit of fuel. I do want to try to make it to halfway. Trying to use as little fuel as possible uh, pacing around here. But 40 laps right now, so not quite there. But being in the draft, being able to take it partial throttle okay, might help us. Yeah, I got a long That's good to hear. Big track. Long pace laps means you get a chance to fix stuff. I'm sure he's not the only one that got damaged either. That happened right at the front of the pack. I'm sure there's probably a handful of people that got some uh, piece of that. I was feeling like uh, kind of sitting duck there on the inside. I am glad I got to the inside when I did. That's why I wanted to be there. I feel like it's easier to avoid the wrecks if you're down low. Of course, that's debatable. Kind of just have to get lucky. But I was able to be low and was worried someone was going to slide down the track into me. I was able to avoid it. We'll see how close I was to it later. When we go uh, watch the replay. Feeling okay. So about four laps short, maybe. Oh. Four laps short, maybe, on fuel to making it to halfway. Man, we can't just make it to halfway, though, because with 45 laps in a tank, we have to make it to the end, too. So that could be tricky. I guess, ideally, we would want to make it a little bit past halfway. Like 55. Could end up in a strange fuel situation, depending on... Uh, When cautions may come out and such. I'm gonna stay low, Gavin. Think go. All right. Okay, thanks. Chuck will lead us off. Not gonna try to jump Chuck or anything. Just gonna keep it in line, which I hope everybody else will reciprocate this early in the race. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we got people going around the outside already. Just fine. Establishing an outside lane. Prefer not to see a three wide again, though. Oh, that was close to my inside. Oh my god. Are you serious? What could possibly have happened? We weren't even up to speed yet. She was. Well, whatever's causing these, I hope they're getting wrecked out so we don't have to deal with them anymore. 
right on. I'll see you in a second. Yeah, I'm just going to get this face off. Thanks for talking about that last time. This car in the middle of the Okay, we'll be able to catch the pace car before it heads to the pits. Save a little bit of fuel on the way there. Yeah, there's no need for 16th to be in the middle of the car stretch. Let's go, guys. Pit road is now open. I, I swear to you, Daytona's not very hard. Even old Daytona, I know it's bumpy. But it's, it's, you'll be okay, guys. Let's get some laps in. I don't know if I've ever seen Mitch's scheme on like a Arca car or anything. Maybe I must have, right? Like he was in the Arca series, wasn't he? With the uh, I'm trying to think, was he in Nick's Arca series? He's pitting. I'm gonna go by the assumption we're gonna get more cautions and that we could save a little bit more here. I think we should be able to make it past halfway enough. Should be saving. 38. Ah, well, still not quite there. We're going to save some more under this caution. I just, I really don't want to be behind everything. I really, really don't. And what we've seen so far is not building my confidence that it's going to go green. If it does, that's fantastic. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and take the consequences if I am unable to make it on just one stop if that means the rest of this race goes green the greater good in that case but I'm not putting myself behind a bunch of guys if they're gonna be wrecking like that I don't even know what happened it could have been a single car crash this one time I still don't know how that happens when we're not even up to speed yet <laughs> but uh, oh well Maybe there'll be some uh, growing pains for a new series. We might have some guys that might not be suitable. Might have uh, not been ready. Maybe they're newer racers. Not quite ready to uh, race for the league or whatnot. It'll all get sorted out. And hey, I'm feeling pretty good. We're P2. Got ourselves in a good position. Hopefully Gavin didn't get stuck in that one as well. I feel like I would have heard about it already if it had happened. So Gavin, yeah, all these crashes going to be in this or the next crash compilation. Probably this one coming up because I'm not going to believe the new one oh, that's right. Gavin's crash compilation will be coming up because uh, we're in between seasons. That's always a good watch. We're just getting our racing legs under us, I guess. Hopefully we won't get too many more, right? What are we doing on field? We're in lap 10, about 38, so just a couple laps short of halfway. I don't know, maybe Mitch had the right idea. Pitting there. I'm just, uh... What would you do that for then? They can be <laughs> You got a penalty for rendering close pit. I guess maybe it's damage. It was that time for some reason, but they don't tell me the penalty was because they haven't closed it. That's weird. Uh, if it gives you a 30 second penalty, I'll clear it. 
It'd be cool if I racing let you set custom penalties for different things in a league or something. Anyway, let's try this again. Right, carries off. Green, green, green. And we're off. Can we do a lap at Daytona? Still just gonna follow Chuck. No reason to be side by side. We have a lot of laps to do. There. Did he? He did not just say they were wrecking. Yeah, they just wrecked at the back of the field. Now I got another black side. I got one too. Thank you. How is that even possible? Thank you. Because people in the back just don't realize when the cars are checking up ahead, they can't just go wide open to the rear bumper. Good lord, guys. Yeah, I can't confirm. That's what happened. He's got an outside lane established. I'm just going to be chilling down here. The outside lane's gonna be going. We're in a real hurry. We're making big moves. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. The car outside. Keep low. Keep low. Stay low. Just a bit too fast. Flat of the set. The lead is considered 46. It would be great if we were single file. I know that's boring, but there's a reason they do it in real life. When it's lap 11 or whatever. It's just, uh, it just makes me nervous, that's all. I'd like to believe we can be too wide, but that remains to be seen. So far so good though, we're okay. So, uh, I guess we're doing okay. We've gotten a couple laps in. That's nice. We'll uh, take a look at our fuel. Fuel's looking okay. I think it's actually getting better. So that's good. That's what I thought. I felt like it still had needed time to calibrate and get the exact amount of fuel that we're going to be using. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy here at Daytona. Retro Daytona. Thirty-six. That's yep. That's over fifty. So I think it was a good idea to stay out. I think that's probably the way to go. We do have people in front of us, which makes me a little nervous, but not too many. Should be okay. Using partial throttle, getting some draft to help us uh, save some fuel. We do have a lap traffic coming up, I think. That makes me nervous. Can we survive a lap car? 
You would hope so. Still there. Thankfully, it looks like we're gonna get by him on straightaway. Just cruising. Just driving. Nothing much going on right now. Except for a bunch of bumps. Make me feel like I'm in a rocket ship. Flying off into space. See a line of cars in front of us. They're probably trying to keep up as much momentum as possible so they don't go a lap down if they're not already. Someone pitting there. What are we doing? What are we doing? I'm sorry, but it's unacceptable for a lap car to be on the bottom there. Are you serious? Pack coming up on you and you guys split up and cover the whole track? What the fuck? That's terrible. I'm sorry, I was hoping to go long past the scatterers. I should have gotten behind them up high. I'm really oh, sorry, nice. guys. Hey, 41, I'm sorry for rearranging you there. I'm assuming the 49, whoever that is, is paying. I don't think we got much damage. I trusted you, man. No, I think it's all just weird. That is terrible. Hopefully this race we can weed out some people that don't know what they're doing. I don't mean I don't want to be mean. That's not a, that's not okay though. You got to know better than that. Come on, you guys, let's catch the pace car. That's pretty bad. It's pretty depressed. <laughs> Not good. We all coming in? Catch the pace car. All right, if we're all coming in, I'll come in. See if we got any damage. We'll take tires, because why not? Actually, we'll take right sides. Right here. I can see my box. Yeah, left sides were basically flawless. Right sides were fine too, but. Okay, go. We didn't have any damage. That's great news. I saw we had a 4x, so I was worried that uh, we maybe got dinged a little bit, but we're okay. Definitely can make it halfway now. We'll pit uh, whenever these other guys do. New rule, lap cars must stay high. <laughs> I thought that was an unwritten one. Additional rule, the leaders are three wide, lap cars eight win.
Where's Kayuka? I was trying to go over to the hot exotic middle of the corner. I'll go ahead next time, I'm sorry. Can I afford to come over the middle or cover the green? Yeah, as far as I'm just going to get a little bit. I wasn't pissed because I think it would have pulled the next time and just called the pack man with the car. Yeah, <sighs> right about now, I feel like I need a diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I'll clear it, but make sure we're following what the, the thing is telling us to do. I'm not going to clear any more black flags unless I see something. At least we're okay. Uh, I had to hit the brakes pretty good. They were crashing. I can't clear them until we go green, so I'll clear them until we go green. Just get in line with the company. Why is this guy all up my rear end? Get away from me. I'm about to do that thing where you put the windshield wipers on, spray the water if they're too close behind you, and then they get a rain shower. That's how I tell people in real life if they're tailgating me too close. I just like, yep. Please don't wreck me while we're pacing. Come on, Can't. Can't. So Right on, man. Right on. <laughs> Get ready. Going green. You good, Dakota? You just made me nervous. I got a zero X from that. Okay, let's maybe do single file this time. Can we do that? I mean, I don't let me tell you what to do, but. Okay, do it during the green conditions instead, then. This paper clip is pretty big. Some of y'all need to know a brake pedal is the middle pedal. And there's no need to be like right on somebody's bumper. You can't bump in these cars. Like, everybody gets somebody in the room. Yeah, yeah you remember the front of the track, front of the group, and came back up after going to the end? That's just stupid. I didn't expect this. I'm gonna be honest. That's what I'm saying. Don't even expect it before. That's fine. These cars are going to crash and faster than the belt. Cars kind of are always going to be faster. Let's see how much damage we have this time. Not going to take any tires. We'll get some extra fuel in it though. Yeah, we'll get green flag runs at lap 70. I don't know if I have too much damage. I just kind of got turned. Our field has damage, so we 
going to be fair again. Hello, Pit Lane. I'm here to fix some damage. Six seconds. That's not too bad. We're okay. Uh, maybe should have taken tires, but I just took a set, so that kind of sucks. I mean, obviously, tires aren't going to matter that much, but we'll get it fixed. Big track. Same thing I was saying. Gavin had the advantage of earlier. We can get it all fixed. No biggie. And we're off. Maybe I want to be in the back. I don't know. Just got to be in front of the right person, I guess. Doesn't matter where you are. Front of or behind the right people. Right into Rockingham. 43 cars on that worn out track. Just need to use their noggin and realize that we're all 24. We've got to have them get it. Let's check it out and get it. Alright, getting where we need to go. Now you're speaking, but don't be willing to use your noggin. I ran there twice this week. It's tried to bump here than Rockingham. That's a lot wider, too. It scares them that you have to actually drive at Rockingham. You don't even have to drive here. And people are wrecking. That scares me. That's what keeps me up at night. <laughs> I guess I better check. 2,000. We're good on RPM. It's 2,000. Yeah, okay. I didn't... I couldn't tell if he asked if, if what the RPM was. Can we have an over or how many wrecks are going to be involved in today? Should be zero. You would hope it would be zero. Sorry, one second. I'm getting a phone call I have to take. Okay, sorry about that. Green, green. We're back, and we're green. Uh, that was a phone call. Uh, I needed to be available for... But we're all good. We're under green. We are doing race car things. I would like to stay... The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a big one. There's no reason for this. We're on the fire line. Yeah. It's fine to be aggressive, but one, I mean, if you can't be aggressive, just don't do it yet. And second, if you're going to be aggressive, like, you got to hold your car straight, not miss a shift, don't bump trap. Yeah. Should be able to get at least 20 laps. Yeah, I think we've all got enough that I have just a notification. <laughs> it looked like someone got jacked up, must have missed a shift. Looks like it was seventh place. Line up. Yeah, 57 blew up right in front of him. Someone shifted into first gear somehow, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we get to the base car. Pick up the right now, 
I'm, I feel so bad for Gavin. He couldn't have expected this to happen. Every one of his previous posted races, as far as I can remember, have been so good. Like, I never would have expected this to happen. It's very disappointing. Another problem is all these cautions are giving the potential actual problem causers to get the damage check to the problem. <sighs> Lots of guys pitting. Try to get our way back forward, I guess. One to go. Next time by. Pit road is closed. Maybe we're rocking in. We should have, like, you do the caution. Because if it's like a single car spin below, like, it's a lot to go. I'm going to move on the outside, but you can go to the path here. Well, we're uh, about P20, I guess. I'm just, uh... I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to be in this group. I don't know. I don't understand how this is happening, but, like... I'm scared to even be around anybody. Have another friend, boys. We'll get a good one sooner or later. You would think so. <laughs> Get ready, going green. This is a weird lineup. Seems like there's a lot of room. That's fine though, as long as we can catch a draft. Yeah, it's getting sorted out. Hide car is off. Green flag, green flag. The leader is running. One minute eleven point nine four one. Car outside. Strangely large checkups. There might be guys mixed in here that have damage or something. Lots of black flags being cleared. Kevin originally said he wasn't going to, but it sounds like there's a lot of weird stuff going on with, uh, People, because they're wrecking immediately, it's kind of just has to do it. Glad I didn't get run over there for checking up. Bumping our way through one and two. Like to get some track position back. Couple spots. Like to be in front of as much as possible. It's typically my, uh, game plan this stuff but we don't see any wrecks in front of us Outside is clear. 
clear. The car outside. Go low. Clear outside. The car outside. Still there. Getting passed back by the outside lane all of a sudden. Is that lap car we're passing up there, maybe? Looks like it. At this point, I think you just gotta get off the track. With the way things are going. Like, do we really need lap cars right now? Uh, maybe, I'm, uh, maybe I'm too harsh. Yeah, for real. Like, you hold me, anchor. <laughs> oh, just go high. I mean, if they all did that. It'd be all right. Yeah. I mean, he's not on the apron, though. He's on the bottom. But whatever. We survived. They're looking a little bit too bunched up. That's still making me nervous. Like, doesn't that look just like way too close together? It's probably just me being paranoid because of how many cautions there have already been, but... Like, no way I'm going too wide right now. It's still way early. Looks like Gavin's backing off. I'm with him on that one. Like, I'm going to leave some room. I don't want to lose the draft, but I'll leave some room. Eight. I'll just run till it's dry, I guess. See when other people coordinate when they want to pit. Oh, is that someone in the wall? I thought there was someone in the wall right there. We're getting some laps done, though. Maybe we're in the clear. Maybe we're good. Wrecked out enough cars that we can actually go green a little bit now. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's in the wall. But we're good. <laughs> we made it through another one. Are they three wide up there? Why? Why are they three wide up there? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I'd almost rather lose the, the pack. Looks like we would be able to catch up again just fine. I'm really not too familiar with uh, how big you can hold on to the draft in these cars. It looks like pretty solid though. They're checking up enough that we can get back into it if we need to. The yellow flag is out. Right. Line up single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. What happened? Why did you break like that? 65. Car. Well, there goes another run. Wait, I mean... 
It doesn't matter. If there's a checkup, you've got to not run into the guy ahead of you. You leave space so you don't rear end him. Like, I, I let go of the gas a little bit because I saw two guys looking like they were about to hook each other. I'm just trying to ride. I don't know. Is that my fault for letting go of the gas for a little bit? I saw Gavin get kind of close behind me. It's not like I hit the brake. I don't know, man. I feel like I should be allowed to let go of the gas for a second if I see two guys about to hook each other up ahead when I'm riding around on lap 37. But maybe I should have, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should flat foot it. I don't know. I, I try to keep an open mind here. Maybe. It, but I don't know. I don't feel like I did anything wrong there. This is going great. My OBS just crashed. Oh. Couldn't get any worse for Gavin. What about it? The thing I'm recording the race with. I don't know if anyone needed to see this anyway. Oh, for real though, I'm sorry this is happening, Gavin. I know you probably expected better than this. We can't make it to the end, that's why I didn't bother taking fuel. I'm kind of trying to get the track position back, trying to be in front of any potential okay, accidents. So yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's the Gen 4 on all day time, so it's like a really, you know, not the easiest combination. <laughs> I mean... It's just a mentality, is all it is. <sighs> It was, you have to be willing to just chill for a lot of this race. Give everyone room and ride. Yeah, I, like I said, there's a reason everyone falls asleep during the middle stages of like a super speeder race when everyone's single file. There's a reason the pros do it like that. I mean... We're ninth. Doesn't matter where we are in the field, though. It really doesn't. I'd like to be in front of as much as possible, but if an accident's going to happen, it could easily happen right in front of us anyway. I really, I, I do hope it gets better. I expect it will. I think there's going to be, uh... Eric, a star, move back. Gonna stay, stay I think there will be a decent exodus of quite a few people, potentially, after this one. I'm sure Gavin will have to put the band hammer to some. 
that are causing these issues, especially if there's guys that are clearly uh, not being as careful as they need to be and being repeat offenders. I don't envy having to be in that spot, and nobody would want that stuff to happen. But to go <laughs> we gotta we gotta be better than this. We're not even halfway, man. Seventy-two. What are you doing? Paul, Paul, what are you telling me to do? Ice car is off. Be ready. Right. Here we go. The leader is running two minutes seven point one eight. Leader hitting those blazing two minute long laps. Thank you, crew chief, for that critical information. There goes the 40. Clear high. Dale Earnhardt making a move. As so long as it's not in the back of me, I'm good. Go on ahead. Have yourself a time. Coming out of the pits. I'm just leaving a bunch of room. Oh boy, they're looking like they're trying to wreck again. Just bouncing all over the place. Partial throttle on the straightaways. Just holding on, like the uh, to the end of the pack. Lots of guys trying to go by me. I'm not in a real hurry to go up into that stuff. It looks like they're going to wreck, so I'm just, I'm just backing off. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they're going below the yellow. They're trying. It really looks, that, it looks like they're trying. still feel like I'd kind of rather fall off the group than be too close to it at this point. It, it, I can almost guarantee you they're going to wreck again. They're just still way too close to one another. For how bumpy this place is. Like you gotta get, You gotta get more room. Jesus, they're three wide. Why? <laughs> I just, I don't get it, man. Stage racing wasn't invented yet. Do these guys know that? There's no stage. At uh, the end of lap 50.
appreciate that the guys behind are leaving me some room. They know what's up. I'm content with where I am at the moment. No way, no how do I want to be up in that. They're doing okay, though, I guess. I mean, we're green right now. We've been uh, figuring it out for the most part, it seems like. We had a couple scary moments, but, you know, we're still green. Getting some laps in. That's great. Keeping a sharp eye on what's going on up there. Seems pretty easy to get caught back up. I'm not too concerned about that. We still have people on the bottom line. He straight up said it. I don't know why. I don't know why, man. I thought it was a new rule. Guess it's not. Three wide up there still. concerned about losing the group. I mean, I'm kind of losing them a little bit, but I mean, they're three wide on lap 49. There's lap traffic all over the place. They started out the three wide. It looks like I'm, uh, I'm able to get back in there. Anyway. I got boogers. Yeah, that's why I got on the phone. I thought that that guy was damaged, so I wanted to leave, so, yeah, we're just... You're pulling the white dog, I don't know. You can try to leave, are you clean, sure? Yeah, my nose is clean. I think I am too, but go ahead and try. About 25 laps fuel. I think it's just because we can't push in these things, so, you know, the, the pack up front is able to go two, three wide and just build more momentum. I'm not worried about it, they'll wreck. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was saying, I'm not too hey, concerned. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Dan, go hide for these guys behind us. Damn, Being put too wide by lap car. Still there, hold your line. I don't know if Gavin changed this setup for a race or if that's just like a hosted deal, but if you raise the nose on these things up probably like an inch, inch and a half, you can push a little bit. Still gotta be careful, but as it is right now, you just take the guy out, so not even try worth trying. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. The leader oh, is Just kind of running half throttle. Starting to feel like a normal super speedway now. Just kind of driving around doing nothing. Can't wait till this uh, series goes to some other tracks. I will say, I do think it should be better, I hope.
The numbers are thin, so, you know, maybe we'll go green for even a while longer. We got the big group in front of us, but it's not as big as a group as a as a group as it used to be. So there's that. I would kind of like to lose the 83 behind me if I can. I uh I'd rather not get hit from behind if I have to check up for a wreck. I don't know if he would or not. You would hope he wouldn't. I don't I don't know. But I don't really want anyone behind me as if I can help it. Just trying to put myself in a safety bubble right now. Something that I did before this race is actually move my brake bias forward just so I can brake harder. That's the kind of thing you do preparing for a super speedway race. You fastest lap, hot dog. This is nice. We've got some laps done now. That makes me feel a little bit better about how this is going. So I think this is definitely the longest run we've had so far. Finally gotten past halfway. If we were to fuel up now, we could make it to the end. All's good. Oh my goodness. That guy's ready to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I really don't want people behind me. I know I, uh... I'm probably just being overcautious, but... Oh, jeez. Someone off pace on the high side over here. Lap traffic. Okay. I didn't notice the tire wear was actually kind of significant for a super speedway, which, you know, means not much, but I am kind of wondering if the handling will go away over time, even just a little bit. Interesting thing to think about. Oh, they're three wide up ahead again. Keeping my distance, keeping an eye up there. I'm looking at them this whole time, just keeping my eye on that big pack. Try not to lose sight of them for any long period of time so I can see it happening as soon as possible. Plenty able to catch back up when I need to. If we potentially get to green flag pit stops, that would be crazy. Very unexpected for how this thing started.
15 laps left of fuel at the moment. We're going to have to start thinking about it eventually. Oh my goodness. What was that? A big move across the track. I wasn't really expecting that. See a gap forming up there. Hopefully they don't lose the draft. Kind of at the, their mercy. The car outside. I don't want to be the first guy to come on mic and be like, hey, when are we uh, going to pit? Because I feel like as soon as I say that, they're going to start wrecking. But we do have to start thinking about it before too long. We're kind of getting there. I mean, 13 laps, that's a long time, though, at Daytona, to be fair. But still, just 13, way 13 times around, that's... We're getting closer. This is what it should have been from the start. Like, it's really not hard not to wreck. Ryan, I think we can go around here. It's not exciting racing. It's super speedway racing, but at least we can do it under green. I had to adjust my foot. <laughs> I lit that so I was off the throttle for a second. More than usual. Gavin lost the draft at some point. It's a huge gap between 19th and what says 22nd on the Rebel Tape right now. You're losing on the current front. The gap is one even. One even. Oh boy, lap traffic. That's going to be it. Oh boy. Are they going to make it? He's up there in the wall. You sorry to force seven. You might want to just pull it in, man. Like it's you're so many laps down. I guess you, you know it's fine. It just feels like that's an extra chance for us to wreck every time around. I don't know if there's much to gain for him, but it's not my call. It makes me nervous when he's up there in the wall. I know this body can make it to where, like, you hit the wall and you have to pull it off. Make you fling across the track, too. Uh-oh, someone's down on the apron up there. Is that a lap car? Yeah, okay. Wasn't sure if it was a lap car or what. Something's going on up there, though. Something looks a little weird. All is okay. Things are looking more spread out. That actually gives me a little more confidence. Before it was two by two by two. But things are looking a little more spread out, actually, so that's kind of nice. Approaching eight laps. Still no uh, word on pit stop 
plans. I still don't want to be the first one to talk about it. I almost feel like I want to stay out a little longer. Because I don't know if they can do green flag pit stops properly, but... That could put me in a bad spot, because you want to pit with other people on Super Speedway for sure. Aha, uh -huh. someone else talked about it first. Yeah, I can put that in a Yeah, I gotta get ready to pit. Two laps. When we come in end, do you think? I didn't want to be the first one to speak up about it. Hey, let me call over with it. I'm stuck on the top of that. I'm trying to get to the bottom. 70 sounds good to me. Alright, I'm on the bottom. I'm hitting next time around. Right. This lap. This lap, okay. I'll be coming in this lap as well then. Nice for that. Oh, yes, I'm Lots of extra space. Things could go wrong here on entry. I'm taking four on the like just to make sure. I am not taking tires. Four tires of fuel is what I'm getting. Car outside. Still there. Clear. All right, we are good. Oh, Jesus. All right, we're alive. 85 and 89. Okay, go. What are we looking at? Fuel back here. I got 18 laps right now. Okay. I have five laps left. Hey, Eric, I got 15 laps. Here. Getting back on track. We'll be able to find some drafts somewhere, I imagine. Sorry about that. What'd you say here? I'm the same as you. We're making good laps, so let's keep it going. Still there. Hey Mitch, I've got about the same amount of fuel as you. Uh, Alright, nervous times, but we seem to have made it. If you want to just let me know when you're going, I'll, I'll give you some room and you can slide down or whatever. Or if you want to go up, I, it's up to you. I can go up into the corner here. You gonna take the tires and forward? Who knows, maybe I should have taken tires, but generally I feel like tires not necessary in a green flag pit stop on a super speedway. So I did not do so. Not this lap, I'm going next lap. Pitting this lap. Okay, we got some guys pitting, so I'm going to come up here. 
Mitch, you doing fuel only? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do fuel only. I think I'm gonna fill in like seven, eight gallons. Still there. If we can stretch it here, we might be able to get some track position and still there. come out out front. I'm good with you only. Still there, hold your line. Let's just win this thing, what do you think? Stay high. Yeah, yeah line's yellow, yellow, don't fly, we're looking, we're looking good. We're inside. I'm coming now. I'm more about to take about 11.5, don't you think that'll get us to the end there? I'm sorry? Well, well shit. 11.5 Things are all mixed up right now with all the different strategies. I know it's quiet for a while. Sorry. I'm doing a lot of thinking Making sure that there aren't guys ahead of me that need to pit and stuff Just holding on to the group I've got ahead of me Just gonna keep it single file as much as I can Not entirely sure how this is going to cycle out, but we'll definitely see. Oh, I don't like what I'm seeing up ahead. I saw some really close race cars bunched up up there. Yeah, I'll let everybody know. Let me know when we clear this pack. I'm probably going to have to stay behind them, but you just call it out. Right. You need them to not wreck. That would be great. <laughs> that would require a wave around from me. Some people coming in, it looks like. You're gaining on the car in front. The gap is one, even. Leader's way up there, so I can't unlap myself or anything. Probably would have been good to wait to pit, but to be honest, I didn't think we were going to get enough green laps for that to even happen, so I guess that's on me for not uh, believing. Otherwise, I might have considered coming back in and getting some fuel earlier to stay out as long as I could, but it didn't seem necessary at the time. Coming up on guys coming out of the pits or something? Not sure what we're looking at. Oh, Lord. I think the 47 just about got run into. Something happened. They've got to come in soon, right? I would think so. Those people that have not pit yet, I mean. Oh my gosh, did the... Uh, 27 just get chopped? It was kind of hard to tell. It's probably not. Looks like he was really close from where I'm sitting.
Four. Really don't want to be this close to other guys. Not right now. I'm taking two. Once things cycle out, maybe, but. 40 24, did you see your pinning just left? Five left, five left. Perfect, thanks. Gee whiz. Aaron, how many laps Huge check up. Actually, I'd use a little bit of brake there. It's showing me 7.2 right now. Clear. 10-4, I'm about 7.8. Clear. Do you want to run it all, about all the way empty? Just get everything we can out of it. Coming about 85. I'll probably come in with like two laps, two laps left in there. I'll let you know when it's last. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm at 5.3 now. Yeah, we'll get you with us, Gavin. Are you taking two tires there, you said? It's really oh, yeah. major checkups going on right now. I don't know what that's How about. How many you taking? About half a tank, so I might as well take two. I take 8.5. The leader is running 46.065. Mitch, I'm going to go down to the inside wall on the pantry. Just uh, waiting for those guys to cycle out their pits. They're staying out a long time. Yeah, you gotta go to the middle of them, that's pretty stupid. Yeah, but knows all about that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> don't worry, I'll run off in the last second of swab. Oh, 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 in the wall, in the wall, in the wall. Don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. I'll kill it off and hit me. Thank you. Ooh, no Rex, please. Oh man, that's it. Okay, Tyler going around our outside. That's fine. I would rather have no one behind me anyway. So we're actually going to lift off some more. Let that happen. Gavin, you good for another lap all the way around? I yeah, have no idea how this is going to cycle out, to be honest. So not this time, next time, bud? Leader is this time, I am too. Alright, we just got to make it one more lap for this to cycle Bidding out. Bidding in, bidding in. Bidding in. Bidding in. Bidding in. Bidding in. Bidding in. Guy's pitting in from that inside lane, so I'm going to go to the outside lane. Gotcha. So for the guys that aren't pitting, good idea to be on the outside. Huge checkup for some reason. I guess because they're trying to sort it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys get it really close to one another. Lots of checking up there. Yeah. Are we going to be back on the lead lap? Stay low. Much high 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 high. Clear high. Chad's pitting in. I don't think they're supposed to be that narrow. Yeah, I was going to say. Alright, could this potentially be for the win here with Tyler? I don't know. We'll see. I think we might be back on the lead lap again. Just fantastic news. We are. Great, great, great. Love it. However, where are we going to be? The 
Oh my lordy. That scared me. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Go ahead and go around him. See if we can get a hint of that draft off the 27. And the top 10, that's good news. Alright, who are we going to be coming up on? Looks like there might be some guys up ahead that uh, had quicker stops, potentially. Get a bit of draft from the 47 before we cut down. So where are we now? Are we still in ninth? Still in ninth. So we uh, have lost some time to a different group. That's alright though. We're top 10. Not wrecking. Which is nice. In fact, I got a lot of clean track in front of me, which... It's worth a lot for my mental sanity. I think those guys that stayed out actually did very well. Or maybe not. That's a different group, I think. It says we're gaining on the car in front. Does that mean the lap car, though? Or does that mean the same lap guy? No idea. I would be just perfectly fine if we ran this out to the end and uh, got ourselves a P9 or just somewhere around top 10. Yeah, but they're packing if we race, they'll catch us. A little bit of draft from the 37. Dan. Appreciate Alan behind us, just uh, holding it single file, trying to get as much as we can. I said, How are your steps? I think we're good. Okay, I just know you've been fucked up on for a while. Doing a good job. We got a group of cars up ahead, interestingly, that we're coming up on. He got tired of riding in line, I guess. <laughs> this is nice. We'll get a little extra speed from this group. There's uh, someone for position in there as well. Catch him with me behind. Okay. It's late enough in the race. I'm going to try to overtake him. Alright, good stuff. That's a couple spots. Sweet. Who knows if we'll be able to keep it, but feels nice. Tyler on the outside there. I don't think he's going to have much without yeah, help, though. Like 
So what spot we in now? I don't really know. Nine to go though. Seventh. Yeah, yeah, take the bunk out. Clear high. No bunk out, I think. Don't do it. Don't do it. For the love of God, don't do it. I think we're actually catching some of those guys ahead. That's very interesting. I see Ryan Thompson up there in sixth. That number is relative. It's actually getting lower. Guys in this group, we are actually catching the guys ahead. So keep working on it. Doing great. You're gaining on the current front. The gap is five, even. I'm going to say that. So maybe they reconsider starting to battle each other. Um, if we can just keep leapfrogging each other, we can pull away a little bit. Do I'll go by now, five, and you keep, then you go back by. Because I know the temptation's high whenever we get late in the race to start battling each other. But we could potentially get some more spots. If we keep the foot in it, instead of uh, tripping over each other, so... I don't know if we uh, are going to be able to catch the leader. I don't know where the leader exactly is, to be honest. I know Ryan Thompson's up ahead. I don't know if the leader's in that group, though. Hey, 75. Uh, you're I'm going to slow down for the start. It looks like there's a huge gap between 4th and 5th. And 5th and 6th, for that matter, I think. So, I'm not sure how they managed to pull that off so well. That's kind of crazy. They got a huge gap. They can't possibly be like. Yeah, we just kind of break for a cost in that though. I don't know. They couldn't possibly be like on a, the same tank yeah, or something, I know, right? I don't know. I, I think he might be too. No, I'm good if you want to. Uh, well, try to save. Yeah, get back in front. I don't know if that was worth it, but <laughs> do it a little bit. Three point one ahead to the end of that group. The chief says we are gaining on them still. I think it has slowed down, however. Five to go. Uh, we're not catching them fast enough. We were catching them pretty quick, but all of a sudden we kind of stalled. I think they got working together better at some point. Yeah, it's our, uh, our charge forward stalled out. Dang. Disappointing. Oh well. Disappointing is relative though, because we are in seventh. That's pretty darn good. Oh boy. Really? We're gonna have ourselves a green white checkered. I'm so sorry. Oh man, we couldn't have just gone to the end. I was full call, dude. I'm so glad we had 
a really nice screen run though. Yeah, how about you get into the back of there and I don't I don't know what happened there, just saw someone turning down off the top. I teach one. And we were wrecking. Yeah, I don't think it was you, I felt the cup on the top down. I know the beginning of the score, but that was a really good run right there. Are we doing green watch tickets or what's the deal? I'm also curious about the rules. No green white checkers. Oh, that's it? Okay. I guess that's it then. Unless we get a one line shootout, that might be the end. That's it. Hey, so the first star, I thought the A star, I thought we were catching up with the A star, so my apologies, dude. No, nah, I thought it was green white checker, but there's a hot, so it don't matter. Well, holy crap! Thanks for that, that was You're fun. After that. Second half of the race. <laughs> yeah, after that start, I never would have expected green flag pit stops. I'm really glad that came back around at the end. Yeah, green flag. Uh, that ended a lot better than it started. <laughs> That's for sure. Agreed. Good second half race, everybody, and. Thanks to the guy yeah, behind for pushing there. Yeah, I'm going to walk down. I was trying to get the lucky dog, but it's pretty quick up there. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Thank you very much. That was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. I just thought I might have had you manage it. I need to get a help. I am so sorry. Yeah, you and uh, Dakota were really strong up the, on, the, on the top side. Congrats, man. Yeah, 44, I'm trying to help you Just being patient trying to sort this out, because I know the Lucky Dog's going to be wanting to come by up high. Yeah, man, thanks for the help. I know, I can see you in my mirror in your car with pretty beat up. Man, it all made it work, man. Thanks. Hey, you man, Eric. Great. 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 Thank you guys very much. Yeah, thank you for that. And good luck to the uh, future races, everyone. Yeah, a good win, man. Yeah, it took a while, but man, we got one hell of a long, good, great green run up yet. All right. Now we got this sorted out. Just being patient with it. Didn't want anything weird to happen. Yeah, I kind of knew when everybody hit it and it won't pass, I knew we could single power out. It'd be a battle between our four. They picked the right strategy, yeah. that's for sure. Uh, I, I think we were the second best strategy, maybe, behind, uh, or maybe third behind Ryan as well, but. Yeah, we make some good last time. Really good last time. We get ourselves a decent finish with P7. I got kind of worried when we got that pack and we had to listen to you guys, but. So uh, we'll uh, finish it off. I'm, I'm really glad that that ended so much better than it started. We had a uh, ten, ten second and a half lead in fifth place. Yeah. Then I think we had a nice clear run to the pitch, so that has a lot too. Exactly what I'm worried about. Did the front group, did y'all take two tires or what was y'all doing? All right, that'll do it. There's the flag. It's over. Find ourselves a safe parking spot. Good job. Very good job. I thought I got a good tip stop there. I was Pass in that first because I pitted it. So, yeah. but good win. Twenty-four. And a P7 to start off the series. Thanks for running with me, Mitch. Kind of curious. Seventy-five, eighty-two. That's kind of significant yeah, for a super yeah. speedway. Very interesting. Sounds like Shane did something for the last caution. We'll uh, get a look at all that happened out here. It's going to be very heavily weighted to the front half of the race. I'm, I'm actually very curious. Let's <laughs> see exactly what happened.
Alright, get the volume how I want it. And let's see, lap two. Looks like the nine just comes up off the bottom. I guess maybe not ready for the bumps exactly. But he will just come up right into JP. JP ends up in the wall. Everyone checking up, and then uh, we would have been fine, I think. Gavin's able to check up. He has to come down to avoid, and then the 49 was kind of just flying in. Yeah, that's that's tough. I mean, I can see... I don't think he, like, flat-footed it or anything. I think he saw there was room down there, and then they kind of just ended up all in the same spot. All of it's just a chain reaction from the 9 not holding his line up there. Just uh, not able to hold it down there, I guess because the bumps. Yeah, everyone coming together. Gavin getting in there. Oh no, he gets some nose damage too. How did Gavin end up doing? Did he still end up with a decent finish? P15, that's not terrible, especially if we're getting nose damage on lap 2. Definitely could have been much worse. So, at least he's able to come back a bit. Usually you get nose damage on lap 2 of, one of a race. Usually that means you're finishing near the back, if not the very back. 40 ran over a couple people this race, huh? I mean, the uh, 81's a little too close to the uh, 26, I think. Not really necessary to be cutting it that close. I mean, just look at that. He's, like, right on him. And then he, he kind of even taps the back of him, which causes this checkup that the 40's not ready for. In fact, it, it looks like he tries to go around the outside instead of checking up, and then he just clips him. So, just a... Uh, Got to be willing to lift off more, especially early in the race. Like, you can catch up with the draft just fine. You don't need to, like, cut every corner and get every possible millisecond out of it. It's really not necessary. I mean, we've, we're half throttle for the majority of the race. And uh, we get P7. And if we had chosen the right strategy or ended up with the right group, we would have been in contention just fine. Heck, if that caution came out a little, a couple laps earlier, we would have had a chance at it. It's just not necessary at all to even cut it that close. Just my thoughts on it. That's really bad. That is really bad. <laughs> There's no excuse for that, man. That can't happen. <laughs> I mean, obviously an accident, but that can't happen. <laughs> Just nothing else to say about that. And, and the worst part is, that's not even the only time that happened, I don't think. So, we got lap cars on the bottom and the top side. Like, what are we doing? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> you gotta be on the high side, on a super speedway, as far as I'm concerned. And if you're... And, and on top of that, you've gotta be the same side as the other lap cars. Like, you don't, you're leaving one lane in the middle on a track that it's difficult to be three wide. Because, I mean, these bumps, they're intense, man. I think I got a little chunk of this. I think it was just a Phantom 4X. Yeah, I just kind of barely tapped the 47. But you gotta... That can't happen, man. We're blocking the whole field. I. That's just not good. Not good. Not good. Um, big grumpy guy that's saying lots of complaints, but well, I look at all these guys that are getting wrecked out because of that. So unnecessary. But I'm just repeating myself at this point, so we'll continue on. 
I do like the singular car. Reminds me of like a Robbie Gordon. That's fun. We're running into each other on pit road. So that's a thing that's happening as well. Not even green flag stops. And me getting run over. Someone was mad at me for getting back on track. I don't have any control over that. Is that... Did, I, I thought I heard someone being like, Oh, you gotta be, stay down there. Like, what are you talking about? I'm straddling the apron there. Like, what do you want from me? How about guy doesn't run me over from behind for the second time in the race? He did it like four laps earlier under caution. Like, he ran someone else over too. Leave me out of it. Oh, Gavin got stuck in that one too. Did I hit, I hit Gavin there? I had my brakes in. Why was I rolling? I thought I had my brakes all the way down. Man, that sucks. I hate that. I swear I had my uh, brakes all the way set, but I guess not. Ah. <sighs> What are we showing here? Nothing. I, that's when the guy shifts into first gear somehow. Not sure how that happens. Here we got another immediate caution. Not sure. Not getting much there. Here we have another wreck initiated by lap car. I mean, he stays high, but we just get stuck behind him, I guess. He's really, really off pace. And then we just get people running into each other back here. That didn't even bring out a caution, though. Everyone kept it going the right direction, looks like. And then, uh, 66 gets run over. Like, I'm just, I'm trying to hang on. I'm trying to be patient. But I guess it's on, like, that's the one I was worried about. Like, am I lifting off too much? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm just trying to be patient. Lap 37. But the uh, 45 is unable to slow it down enough. Runs into the back. Big hits for a couple of guys. Not sure. Nothing going on there. 
Go two, just running over over the forty-five. I don't know, man. Everyone keeps it going the right direction there. Again. Thirty-eight up into the wall from P five. Everything looking okay though. No one running into each other yet. Thirty-eight comes up and hits the lap car. Just gave him no room for some reason. And then here we have some uh, green flag pit stops. The forty-two. Yeah. The this was probably what kept us... I forgot this had happened. This is probably what kept us out of it. I forgot we had this big checkup. This is why we weren't in the front group. We had to check up for this. You're coming onto pit road and then they're all wrecking. I just go down here where we can't touch anybody. Oh boy. But no cautions up there, so. Up 78, 45 gonna drive up into the wall. More pit road action. 54 gets into the grass. Doesn't make it onto pit road safely. VO2. A little confusion here, I think, because the cones are knocked out of place. Obviously, you don't need to go between them, even even though that's where the cones ended up. Like, you can still be over here. It's not like the entry changes, depending on if the cone gets hit. So, you, he could have easily been over here, but probably doesn't know that. And so, he turns down into the 66, trying to get within the cones, but all is well. I'm thinking that 32 is going to get on the brakes so he can get into a stall. Yes. Nothing happening there. 11. Or no, P11, the 81. Sliding into the pit stall, or into pit road rather. And uh, Shane just going to get into the back of the 41, which is going to end our race. So. Yeah, you just can't touch, you can't touch anybody with these cars. Not even a little bit. It'll send them around. Not great cars for super speedway racing, really. But Gavin's going to get himself in one more wreck. And that's going to finish off this one. So, bit of a messy, messy start. But just as the race went from... Oh jeez, we're still running. We're still running into each other. The race is over, and we're still running into each other. Yikes! Just had to get one more in. Okay, are we are we done? I was already doing my like wrap up here. Ford's gonna do his celebration onto the logo like he won. I'm sure that's not what he wanted though. He's just warming it up for the winter. Now are we good? Now is the no. We got one more. We need. Oh, Eva, how did that even happen? How does that happen? Is it was that on purpose? Because the race is over. Yeah, race is over. He's just messing around, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what happened here? He was decast it up. It was because the race is over. So uh, we are officially actually done. So. Here's hoping, you know, the start of this race was rough, but it got better as the race went on. Here's hoping that's the same case for the season, right? Only uh, gets better from here. Um, I'm going to, you know, after I let you go here, look at some of my stuff there. Maybe I made a mistake when I got run over, you know, being back on track. I mean, and uh, maybe didn't hold my brakes as well as I could have. I don't know. I'm going to look at it. But uh, for now, we'll take our P7, and next next time we go, well, I think it'll be next Thursday, it'll be Rockingham. And uh, 
Hope to see you there. That'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching.